So here we are with David Shankov of DSG, and uh, we're talking to him. We got some great news. He's going to be releasing a new album this year, finally. We've been waiting for a while. Yes, we have. So it's been, what, five years since Hellborn? Just about, uh, almost six years. Wow. July 10th of 2007. I right. believe that's when it came out of the Magic Circle Fest in Germany. Right. Yeah. So, so that's very cool. You got a band that's been together for a while. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the album. You know, that's a lot of people want to know about that. Right. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, it's been a long time coming for the new record. Uh, the new album is called Still a Warrior. And I came up with the title of that because my previous years in Manowar, I spent about 10 years and was able to get a gold CD and a platinum CD with them. And the kind of power that I learned from being in Manowar and their energy and what they're all about, I wanted to take the best music that I had from the Ashes CD, my first debut, and then the Hellborn CD, which was heavier, not so keyboard stuff, more seven string guitar, and try and put the best of both CDs together in the third CD. So we entitled it Still a Warrior, because even though I may not be in Man of War, we're all still brothers of metal, right. I'm still a warrior on my own, whether I'm in that band or not. So I'm still a warrior after the war. So that's really how we came up with the title for that. And the cover, it's really, really, really came out great. Eddie Snyder did the artwork for me, and uh, he won first prize ribbon for it in the Wisconsin State Fair last year, but at the time, our name wasn't on it, so nobody would know. But uh, it'll come in, it's coming out, new record deal, Pure Steel Records, early 2013, summer of 2013. Okay. Well, very cool. Talk to me about the band. Who's in the band this year, or now? I would say at this particular point, out of all the DSG bands I've had, I've loved every member I've ever had. But the guys I have now are the most appropriate musicians that I needed in this band. Warren Halverson, great vocalist. He does the Heaven and Hell uh, tribute band. Uh, Mike Doodley, our bass player, he has a Slayer tribute band called Hell Awaits. Great band, does a great job if you're into the Slayer thing. And uh, Gabriel Anthony, our pounding drummer from Hell, he's been in a Van Halen tribute band. He's done stuff with Pamela Moore, who was on the Queensryche record. And uh, he does some karaoke band stuff, too. The guy plays out every weekend. And uh, he's a monster. He's really the driving force behind the band. And uh, the opportunity, I'd like to say, is the band may be called DSG, David Shankel Group, but we're a band. And without me having those guys in this band, I'm not a band. I would just be a solo artist playing, wanking off doing my things, formerly a man of war, but as having the right guys in the band, the DSG David Shankel name is because I made something from myself from being in man of war and touring the years, and touring the world, doing the Triumph of Steel record, you know, getting all my endorsements and putting myself on the map to where it was strong enough that every label I had and the guys in man of war felt you could compete with the best of them out there. So name it DSG David Shankel Group. So we did, and I'm proud of it, and I'm proud of the guys I have in my band. In terms of music, you have a new band. How does that work with uh, the songwriting, the way the music comes out? How different is the new record going to be compared to the music in the previous albums? Well, first of all, it's a lot more progressive and there's a lot more harmony and neoclassical guitar soloing I'm doing, and Warren's vocal style, I can have him go from anywhere from a David Coverdale to a Dio to a Dokken in a split second, depending on what the melody of the part of the song needs for that. Warren's like a piece of bubble gum. I can just stretch him and get him to be right where I need him to be. And I thank God for that because he's versatile enough to do it. And there's a lot of different versatile stuff on this new record. Okay. When do you expect the record to hit the market? Well, at this particular moment, we're looking for a summer 2013, early summer 2013. So things right now are on track and hopefully that will stay on track. We have a brand new website. It's davidshankel.com. Do not go to davidshankelgroup.com. Man of War owns that one, and that's the old band. davidshankel.com is the new website. puresteelrecords.com has got all the new news up on us. And we have the, uh, everybody in the band's got a Facebook. We have the DSG fan Facebook page and my per personal fan page. If you like me or not, that's okay. And, uh, and you can find us anywhere on there. There's just tons of stuff, and it's constantly being updated. Okay. Very cool. Uh, speaking of finding you guys, 
uh, what is going to happen in terms of support after the album comes out? You're going to be, I assume you're going to be playing locally, but are you planning on doing anything regionally, anything, you know, U.S. level, international? What's in the plans? Right now, the Pure Steel Records is talking to my manager, Johnny Pettigrass, who managed Man of War for 20 years and has all his connections from his days in that band that they will help support us to try and get us on some like weekend festivals or like some big club style festivals where you fly over on a Thursday and you're coming back home on a Monday. I mean, we're just trying to get our foot in the door that way. It's been a long time since DSG's been overseas, but that's where I came from and got myself on the map from being in Manowar. And we've made a name, not only from Manowar, but I've been there three times with DSG when we did the Manowar reunion in 2005, I played. We had the Ashes to Ashes CD out we played, and then the Hellborn CD at the Magic Circle Fest. Now all the business dealings are going out to try and get us over there midsummer into summer to take us in to, towards the end of the year to whatever we can get on. And you need to work on those now to get on those festivals later in the year. So we're trying to get the album out in time where we can jump on the festivals. And I'll play with anybody anywhere. I love all bands and, and anybody that wants to come see us and buy my record and support it, great. If you don't, that's okay too. <laughs> Right, very cool. Once again, the website is davidshankel.com, right? Right, exactly. Right. Okay. Anything else as we close? I just want to thank everybody for coming out to see the band and supporting me and all the different musicians I've had in the band. I love all of them. And thank you, my friend, for do letting me do this interview, and I hope we can do more in the future to keep everybody updated in Chicago, man. Shred on. Absolutely. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.